In this video, Dr. Jordan Peterson talks about the advantage and disadvantages of marriage and how rich and poor people get affected by a catastrophe in society. I can tell you what's happened since the divorce laws got, got liberalized. The first thing that happens is that all of you are going to be divorced at about the same rate as people would have 30 years ago. Because rich people still get married. And they generally don't get divorced. Poor people do not get married. And that's like 60% of the population. And it's ramping up quick. And there's no evidence whatsoever that that's anything but catastrophic. So kids who are raised by single parents do not do as well. Now, that doesn't mean there aren't some single parents who are doing a stellar job. Obviously there are. And there's some married parents that do a terrible job. That's not the issue. The issue is... The bulk of the evidence, and the bulk of the evidence strongly suggests that ch children who are raised with two parents do better. Well, duh. Why? Well, why? It's impossible to raise children. Jesus, they're expensive, they're troublesome, they're <laughs> smart, and they're useless. You know, so, and you've got them for 20 years. It's like, you're going to do that by yourself? Sure you are. You know, you're going to be working at a horrible job 40 hours a week or more like a retail job, for example, where they just treat you like a slave. And then you're going to go home to your miserable kids exhausted. It's like, that's not fun. And, you know, it's increasingly the norm for huge chunks of our population. Like, elitist liberal types, like all of you, for example, don't pay much attention to what happens to people who are actually poor. But as far as I can tell, it's been a bloody catastrophe for them. You know, there's an old saying, when the upper class gets a cold, the lower class gets pneumonia. And you know, the thing about that saying, it's true. It's like, it's not a metaphor, it's literally the case. If an epidemic sweeps through a population, the population dies from the poor people upward, because they're so damn stressed. So, you know, I would say, with regards to marriage, now I've been married a long time. It's just about it's 26 years now, you know, and I've noticed a bunch of things about marriage. One is, two brains are better than one. And so if you actually communicate with your partner, because they're not like you, it's like you have a corpus callosum between you, you know, and they'll tell you things that you don't understand, you know, like when you're being stupid, you know, in a typically feminine way, say, or a typically masculine way, or in whatever stupid way you manage to be stupid, they'll point that out to you, you know, and that can be really helpful, even though it's extremely annoying. You know, and they can help you make decisions, and they're a good place to they're a good place to confess to. You know, and it's really helpful when you're trying to figure out how to discipline children, so that you're not a pathetic milksop who lets them run all over you, or some tyrant who you know likes to beat them with a stick when they sneeze. You know, hopefully you kind of find some pleasant middle ground in there, and it's a lot easier to do that with two people than with one. And then they can spell you off when you're exhausted. Particularly useful if you have small children. Because you will be exhausted when you have small children. You know, plus the narrative of your life has continuity. And that's nice. You know, and if your home is set up properly, it's actually a pleasure to go to it. You know, it is a, it is a buttress against the chaotic and, and uncaring external world. Because the external world, in many ways, doesn't give a damn about you. You know, so if you go home and it's set up reasonably well, it's like, hey, you've got somewhere to belong. That's not so bad.